All right, so let's go over a couple of ways of deleting blank rows in this video. So if you look here, I have this data set. Now there are some blank cells. We don't want to get rid of those. We just want to get rid of blank rows. Like for example, this line 17 is blank. This 19 and 20 are blank. And as you can see, there are more. So the way I like to deal with this usually, if I don't care about the order of lines, is by simply just doing a sort. So let me show you what I mean by that. So if I take this and just select this whole column all the way down, you can also just select the data like from this corner all the way up. For me, I don't have anything else on this worksheet. So I'm just gonna select the whole column all the way down and I'll go under data and then do sort range. And because I have this headers on top of this data, I'm gonna check this box and then I'll pick one of the columns. So if there's a column, you can trust that basically in that column, there's always some value. You would probably check this column. Now I don't have such column. See, sometimes it's a blank here. Sometimes it's a blank here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to select one of the columns and then I'm going to add another sorting order and basically just add a couple of more columns here. So usually you want to select the columns where you're most likely to have data. So I'll just go with these three columns and just go ahead and click sort. And right now, if you just look and see what happened, if I just scroll all the way down, see what happens when you sort, the blanks are going to be in the bottom. So this was sorted and all the blanks went to the bottom. So by doing this, we basically removed all the blank rows. Now again, this method is fine if you don't care about the original order of rows. I'm gonna undo this to get the data back to what it was. So now let's talk about something a little more complicated. So now let's say we want to keep the data in the same order. We just want to delete the blank rows in the middle. So what we can do, we can use a filter to do this. Now, again, if you already have a column that always has a value, you could just go ahead and apply a filter to this data and then filter the blanks out. The problem with my data is that there is no such column. So I'm going to have to create that column before I can get to filtering. So I'm going to create a column here. I'm going to call this filter. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a formula here, concatenate. And here as a string, I'm just going to give it this whole row, just like this. And what it's going to do, it's going to join all those values together from all these different columns. So if I had enter, that's just going to do it for the first row. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on that first row, do command shift down to drag this down or control shift down and then control D or command D to drag that formula down. Now, as you can see here, I did it, but if you look here, there's nothing, but the formula is actually here. So what's happening here is that because all of these are blank, the resulting value is a blank. Now, if I go above and look here, see if there is a blank here, but there's no blank here, the resulting value is still something but only in cases when there is literally nothing in any of the columns, we'll get a blank in this column. So now we have a column that we can trust. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select this entire column from here. You wanna make sure you get the whole data in here. So if you're not selecting the whole column, then you wanna just do this and select all the way down. For me, I'm just gonna highlight the whole column starting from H. I'm gonna go under data and do create filter. So that's going to add this filter drop down on top. So at this point, I can just open this. So I basically right now want to just get the blanks on the screen. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to clear all the selections, just check the blanks, press OK. And what's happening now, it's only showing me the blank rows. And it's hard to tell, but if you look here, it goes 17 and then 19, and then 20, and then 31. So we have blank rows someplace. Uh, well, actually what's happening anywhere from 20 through 31, it's not blank. So those are not showing up. So what I'm gonna do at this point, I'm just simply just gonna click on this row 17 on the left, 
and then do Control shift down or command shift down to just highlight this whole thing and then right click and delete rows. So this is just gonna delete those rows that were blank. Now at this point, I wanna get the results back. So I can unfilter this column filter, but I also don't need this column. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna right click on this column H and just delete that column that was created to do a filtering. And you can see now that we basically just have the data. So the blank rows are gone. We just have the data left over here without all the blank rows. So 143 lines. Now to check that, let's go to this one and do that sorting method to see what we get. So I'm gonna do this and sort range. Again, we'll do date, add a couple of columns here that I think mostly have values and do sort. And now let's scroll down and see what's going on in the bottom of this. So as you can see, 143 again. So since we did this, now let's try to also just create a quick macro to do what I just did in the second example with a filter. So instead of going through all of those steps, if you're doing this regularly, maybe you can just create a macro to run it the next time so you don't have to repeat all those steps. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to this tab that wasn't touched yet. All right, so let's try to create that macro. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go under tools, macros, record macro, now it's recording. So the first step, if you remember, was to create that new column on the right that I was using for filtering. So I'm just gonna go here, add a column header, filter, and then do a function so concatenate and select this entire row, hit enter, and then click on that formula, control shift down or command shift down to drag all the way, and then control D or command D to drag that formula down. So now I'm gonna scroll back to the top of this. Now we have this column, I'm gonna select that column H again, and I'm gonna go under data and click create filter. Now, at this point, if you remember, I want to filter this to blanks. However, I'm going to do it in a little different way because we're recording macro. We want this to work going forward. So when I open this, instead of just checking the blanks here, I'm going to go filter by condition and choose is empty as the condition and press OK, which will basically accomplish the same thing. It is filtering to just blanks. So at this point, I'm going to select starting from here. See, the first one is row 17. And then do Control shift down or command shift down to select all the way down. Right click and delete. Delete all the rows. And then right click this column H and delete that column. And that brings me to this. I'm going to click in the beginning to A1 cell and save this macro. So that's the name of the macro. You can also assign a shortcut. As you can see, I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna hit save. Now I'm gonna go back and try to modify this macro to make sure it works in different cases. So I'm gonna click Edit Script. And that takes us to the script editor. So here, what I want to do, I wanna find places where it's possibly some hard-coded value that we want to escape. So for example, if we see something that goes from a particular row up to a particular row, we want to make sure we address that. So in here, I don't see anything of that sort. It's just basically on top. I'm just gonna leave it as is. So I don't wanna mess around too much with the code. I just want this to be as simple as possible. So see, we select the whole column, we add a filter to it, and then we basically do all the empty cells and then we just filter to those empty cells. Now in here, if you look, it starts selecting from that 17th row. Now we click on that 17th row, which was the first one that was blank in our case, and we drag all the way down. Now the problem with that is that if the next time the blank we have is not in the row 17, this is no longer gonna work. So I want to change this to start from row two 
which is right below the header, and then do the control shift down thing to select the range. And again, from the looks of it, the rest of this seems to be okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save this with control S, command S, or clicking on this floppy disk or whatever it is. And now we should have a macro that hopefully works. Now we have to test this to see what happens. So I'm gonna close this. Let's, well, I'm just gonna undo this first of all. So this is where it all started. Let's just go ahead and try to run the same macro that I just did with those modifications and see what happens. So I'm gonna go under tools, macros, and delete blank rows. So the first time we run this, it's gonna ask us to give permission for it to run because it's a script. So I did give the permissions it needs. Now I can run this. So we got a problem. It seems the problem we have is that it's trying to now go to row two, but because it's invisible, it's not able to start from row two and go down. So that trick I did to start from the second row didn't work. So I'm gonna dismiss this. So let's try to go back and see what we can do to modify this macro to make it work. So we'll go under tools, script editor. And as you can see, we got the delete blank rows. This is where we tried to do this, but it failed. So this is the point that this fails, this line 20. So let's keep that in mind. Now let's see what happens after that. So we go to this two, we do the control shift down thing, we activate it, then we delete rows. So let's see, what is it deleting? It's taking the active range and getting the row number. So basically the beginning row number, and then gets the total row numbers in our selection. And that's what it's deleting. So let's try to modify this a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna not select this. So I'm just gonna comment this out with this two forward slashes, this one, this one, and this one. These four lines I'm gonna get rid of, just get to this delete rows line. So in this delete rows line, I'm just gonna change the starting row to two where I wanna start deleting. And then I'm gonna go as the number of rows, I'll just go back until the spreadsheet dot and do get last row. And because I have a header on top, I'm gonna do minus one. So start from the second row and then pretty much this means go all the way down until the last row. So I wanna say just select all of those and delete them. Only in this case, I'm not saying select, I'm just saying delete them. So hopefully with that, it's not gonna fail. So let's try this and see what happens. So I'm gonna save this and go back and we need to probably undo all these steps to get back to the beginning so we can run this macro again. I think this is where we started. So let's go to tools, macros and do delete blank rows macro, see what happens. Well, it seems like we did pretty well. Let's just check this. 143, I believe that was the correct number. So that's correct. We got what we needed to do. So slight modification there, but once I have the modification, now we have a macro that actually works, which means that should also work if we have different blank rows. So for example, maybe you had a couple of blank rows here, a blank row here. So now let's try to run that same macro on this and see if it still works the same way. So we're gonna go under tools, macros, and delete blank rows again. Now let's go check if the number of lines is the same. Yes, very nice. So there it is, that's our macro. So script editor, so at this point, now that we know that this works, we can just remove these lines that shouldn't do anything. So the key thing in this macro is after the criteria for the filter is built, and then the filter is set right here, then the next thing we need to do is immediately go to delete rows 
and do our own way of deleting those rows without having all those selections and all of that stuff. And the rest should work as is. And that should be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.